So you want to know what it's like raising a family here in Gainesville, Florida? Well, stay tuned because I'll share with you exactly what to expect if you're moving to the area with your family. Hey guys, Donovan Arnold here with Keller Williams Realty, and I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these weekly videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area. We talk about the best restaurants, best schools, best places to live, and if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by hitting the subscribe button. Also, click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. Now let's get started. So today, Katie and I are out running some errands. The boys are actually at grandma's house. And I, recently I've had a bunch of people asking what it's like to raise a family in Gainesville, what there is to do. So I thought now would be a great time to pick Katie's brain, share with you guys from a mother's perspective exactly what it's like to raise a family here in Gainesville. Um, so Katie, what would you say the one biggest downside to living in Gainesville and trying to raise a family would be? I would say probably the weather can make it challenging. Um, it gets very hot here. Sometimes it can rain for a couple days at a time. So you kind of feel like you're confined to being indoors and finding indoor activities and getting you know creative on how to get some energy out of your kids. So Katie, what would you say the best part of living in Gainesville and raising a family? What, what are the best things? Um, I think Gainesville is a very family focused community so there's lots of activities, there's lots of parades, events, um, just different things for kids to do. Okay so let's roll through, give me your favorite park, favorite restaurant, uh, and favorite store to take the kids to. And Favorite park, Depot Park, it's a splash park, it's got the soft ground padding so it's great on your feet. Um, favorite restaurant would be ooh, that's a tough one cheesecake factory it's new to Gainesville I love it um, favorite store to get stuff done is Target and favorite restaurant to take the kids to ooh I like to order in for that um, my kids love going to a local restaurant called Las Margaritas and get all the chips you want. So of course it does get uh, very hot, very humid, and then in the summer, it, you know, rains just about every day in the afternoon for an hour or two. What do you like to do with the family on those hot, rainy days? So I like to take the kids to the movies, um, get them into one of the museums, um, either the Natural History Museum, uh, Kate's Museum, um, or, you know, we've got a indoor trampoline park that is a lot of fun. Um, we've got several different small businesses that offer indoor bouncing and bounce houses. So that's a lot of fun to get some, some of that much needed energy out of the kids. Time to refuel. Well, you do a lot with the boys. So what are some of your favorite things to do in Gainesville? I mean, we always like to get outside, so seeing Sweetwater Branch, Damien loves looking for alligators, so uh, Payne's Prairie, Devil's Mill Hopper, any of those sort of natural scenic places outdoors where you can walk around, see alligators, snakes, that sort of stuff is, is always fun at the top of our list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me more. So if someone was moving to Gainesville and was asking you some questions, what's one thing that you would want them to know about Gainesville that they may not know from an outside perspective? So I think that probably a lot of people think of Gainesville as being very college town. Um, and there are certain aspects of it that, that might seem that way, but overall it's a very well mixed town. There's certainly college areas um, and there's very lots of different family oriented activities uh, and places to go so it's very family friendly also so Katie what are some of the other things that you like or enjoy about Gainesville definitely that there's lots of shopping um, there's little boutiques little charming stores um, it's grown over the past couple years so there's a lot more to do in Gainesville. Previously, you'd have to go, you know, maybe Jacksonville, Cala, Orlando to kind of find some different things to do. 
Um, and certainly Gainesville is its own city now, and so it has plenty of that and offers plenty of that. So hopefully that was helpful, but what you want to do next is go ahead and watch this video where I go through all the great things there are to do here in Gainesville. And if you have any additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to reach out. Recently I've had so many people that are relocated into the area calling and texting me with questions and I absolutely love it. So if there's anything I can do to help you, don't hesitate to reach out.